Hey you guys, it is William calling from Movie Vlogs, and Mia and Dion from the Netherlands have released their Eurovision 2023 song. It is called Burning Daylight Debon. Hey William. Should we watch and find out if this daylight is on fire? <laughs> Let's, Let's do this! All right, before we continue, let's just read two quotes to give a sense of what this song is about. Dion Cooper said, The song is an ode to trial and error. It's about recognizing that we're just human beings who try their best and that it's okay to make mistakes. It's about picking up after that, choosing something better, and moving on. And this is what co-author Duncan Lawrence had to say. These two, Mia and Dion, are individually great artists, but when I heard those voices together, the same feeling arose as with Arcade. I thought something magical is happening here. We have to do more with this. All right, well, the hype train has arrived. <laughs> Let's see if it can keep on going. Hitting pa lay. Great fingernails. Oh. It's another slow, slow burner. Okay. He's got a nice voice. Don't know what made me happy before. So deep. From all to zero. Where did I go? Is that a harmony? Between falling and running, I've been trying to get on my feet in time. There's a storytelling quality Never here. Been good at All right. Okay. We're building. I'm sorry, I'm just human. I'm losing myself. Mm. Okay. I'm losing myself. I'm chasing her. It's interesting the song title isn't Chasing Highs. Oh, Burning Daylight, okay. Okay, this is a slow build. Um, welcome, Mia. Hello. Have they harmonized yet? What's the point of having two if they're not going to sing together? I must admit that the visuals are not really adding value for me because when i sort of look away yeah and then i look back this this isn't adding extra layers for me very expressive Ooh. don't ask her to pass the salt at dinner okay together this is better when they're together when they're together it's much more mm. It only took two minutes. It's a radio friendly quality here. This section is nice. Really good song craftsmanship in terms of storytelling, the lyrical composition. <sighs> and, and the voices complement each other. Goodbye, O oh Life. Well, this is a downer. This is pleasant. <sighs> Very nice biceps. Dion works out those arms. Um. Okay. Huh. Okay. okay. Listen, I'm all about being united by music. I'm all about the love. Burning Daylight does not set me on fire. I want to love this because I have loved the Netherlands at Eurovision in recent years. I mean, putting Trainshit to the side, everything has been incredible since the return, or not the return, since the slave factor with Anouk. This just doesn't have the X factor, I'm sorry. This is not bad. You know, there's some songs that, that you recognize is really good you know you're listening to good stuff but somehow doesn't pull you in just leaves you at the door whilst i appreciate the quality here i'm not that connected to it it's a little underwhelming for me 
But it is a good song and it's well constructed and you know, it takes many of the boxes of what a good song should be. It starts off nice and I'm really into Dion's voice and I'm like waiting for the build and then we hit the chorus and it's like not that big. And I get we have to go on a journey. Eventually Mia comes in. Um, they still haven't harmonized, you know, when she's done. Then they hit the chorus again and when they finally do sing together, like two minutes in, I'm like, okay, th there's some power here, but you've lost me by that point. You know, I was more interested in what they were fighting at over dinner than I was in the song. It just feels a little beige, a little bland. Um, I can't remember the chorus right now and I just listened. I, 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 I. No, that's a lie. I do remember the chorus. You can play this a hundred times and I'll still struggle to pluck out a melody. I mean, there's the goodbye, my friend, but burning daylight. I, it, you know, I'd kind of like to tune into it when on a, sound, on a sun lounger, kind of just spread out, taking in the stars, all the clouds you know, reading a book. I've got to be doing something else in addition to listening to this song. And whatever I'm doing, it doesn't detract from that. Do you see what I mean? This is background soundtrack. And I'm not saying all songs need to be like pow, 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 pow. You know, shang Grow? I really connected with that. And it's a slow burner, right? I want to read some comments on the Weeby Blogs website. Yeah, yeah, Fire says, this is just boring, seen it already. FFS, oh, y'all know what that stands for, writes, bland, boring, and nothing that we haven't heard a hundred times before. Thanos says, it's a cute song, and for now, just that. But I like it. We'll see if it will grow on me with time. Now, this is something we need to consider, growing on you with time. At Eurovision, you've got three minutes to grab the viewer's attention, right? That's even more important this year in a semifinal that does not have a jury. This is a televote-only situation for qualification. The Netherlands, I think, would do really well with the jury, actually. This is smooth, polished. It is beautifully written. It's just forgettable. But this could do better with the jury than it could with the televoters because... It's just not grabbing you. They are competing in semi-final one, the semi-final of death, alongside, in the first half, Croatia, Ireland, Latvia, Malta, Norway, Portugal, Serbia, and in the second half, Azerbaijan, Czech Republic, Finland, Israel, Mold Moldova, Netherlands, Sweden, and Switzerland. I mean, I've already named Finland over the top. Daria, it's crazy, it's party like wild, memorable, um, televote friendly. You've got Czech Republic, which is a big fan favorite. Serbia's got tons of great songs in its selection. You've got Norway going viral all over the place globally. I mean, Moldova, you can never count them out. Israel, Noah Carell's got some unicorn of realness coming. Long story short, you need to stand out. This will probably qualify. Yeah, because, you know, the, the Netherlands have consistently upped their game. And when it comes to staging, they often think outside the box. Triantia Oyster House is the notable exception to that. In 2015, it was Barbara Dex. But shortly before then and post then, it's been very clever staging. The Common Lynettes were a duet and they came second. Nobody saw that coming. We go back to the comments on Wee Wee Blogs. Ultima Thule says, this is well-produced, radio-friendly. There are lots of concerns though. Will they be able to stage this well? Will they be able to perform this vocally live to be on par with the track? And even if they do, it might not be enough. You know, the Common Lynettes. My reservations about their initial music video remain. I still find that boring. However, Live, they killed it. They had the passion, the fire. Ilsa was looking into the lens. That, that man with the camera, she had some passion for him, it seems. And Waylon was kind of just standing there. Just kidding. There was chemistry, is the point. There was chemistry between Ilsa and Waylon that the cameraman caught. And it was beautiful staging. And it really elevated the song. Maybe Mia and Dion can do that as well. I wouldn't rule it out. The Dutch are masters of television, let's not forget. And hopefully the live staging will give this emotional depth because at the moment, it's pleasant. It's not tugging on heartstrings. But studio versions sometimes, you know, particularly when you've got a restricted budget and time constraints, it's very difficult to pair it with visuals that really give it added depth. 
um, and this may suffer from that. As a studio cut, it's not burning daylight, it's being eaten by the daylight. And the song is depressing. What's the first lyric? His first line is, I don't find any joy anymore. Her first line is, I don't believe in God anymore. Lord have mercy, this song is a real downer. It's like draining me of life. Unpacking the lyrics here, there's a part that says, I don't believe in God anymore. Where does she go? I don't need a hero. Or I guess a hero. Controversial. But you'd have to hear it to figure it out. And by then your three minutes is up and you've got others to vote for. I think that songs can go on a journey and start in a dark place, but then end somewhere happy and still feel uplifting throughout. That's what Esteem gave me. Yes, there was lots of darkness in that song, but there was hope sort of underneath the surface. This, I think it wants to take us on a similar journey, but by the time we get there, I'm already asleep. I do look forward to meeting Dion and Mia and learning more about the song, and I can already read the comments. Oh, you're so two-faced to be nice to them. You know what? If you don't like someone's song, it doesn't mean you don't like them or respect them as people or artists. It just means you don't vibe with the song. You should still be nice to the person and learn more about their art. And if you are the type of person who thinks you should be mean to someone just because you don't like their song, then I think you're the one with issues. Sorry, I just had to preference that because I can already see Twitter spinning its wheels, getting in a tizzy. Oh, Lord. All in all, this is a good song. All in all, my main criticism is that I'm not connecting with it. But reviewing this, critiquing this, it's decent. It's decent. Ultimately for me, it's this. The studio cut, they sound great. I hope they sound as good live. I hope the song gets more life with staging. The Dutch are able to do staging. So while I don't think this is an obvious qualifier, at the moment I would say it's a non-qualifier. I fully expect the Dutch to pull something with staging, which will elevate this. And let's not discount the Duncan Lawrence factor. Duncan Lawrence knows how to write a song. If this does make the final, I think jurors will respect it. It's polished. It really is polished. The problem is you've got to get to the final in a jury list that is a televote only semi-final. And that's where my concern is. All right, well, that's what we think. What do you think? Do you think that the Netherlands is a clear qualifier, a borderline qualifier, or is it gonna be a real struggle? Let us know here on Wee Wee Vlogs. Is there a mood board for Burning Daylight? Check it out on Pinterest, and while you're at it, follow Wee Wee Blogs on Pinterest. And we will see you later. We'll see you later. Bye! Bye. Bye.